promise of America. You are off to Atlanta, Senator. Thanks very much for your time here on C-SPAN. We appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. We wanted to talk to some of the rally goers here at the Ted Cruz event. You're a first-time voter. Tell us your name and why you're here today. My name is Kelsey, and I'm here to learn more about who I'm voting for next year. What did you learn tonight? I learned a lot about our country and what I wanted to do later in life. What do you think about Senator Ted Cruz? He is really nice, and he's funny, and he's in it for what's best for the people. Now you're not able to vote yet, but you came with your sister. Why? Because I want to see what he has to do for our country. What did you learn? That he wants to destroy ISIS. Would you vote for him if you were 18? I will in a second term. Thank you very much. We're going to make our way down here with some of the Ted Cruz supporters. Tell me your name, why you came today, and what you took away from this event with Senator Cruz. Uh, my name is Tom McFadden uh, from Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, my wife, Nancy, uh, we both came today because we really believe that the last hope for us and for our children and grandchildren is Ted Cruz. Um, he's a selfless person. Uh, I believe he's doing this from his heart, uh, more so than politics. And we need to take our country back. And, and, and we, need to be, we need to be winners. When you say that, Nancy, take our country back, what do you mean? What's wrong with our country today, and why do you think a Ted Cruz could change the country? Um, I think he's a very intelligent man, and I think he knows what's going on behind the scenes better than the American people does. And uh, we don't need a president like Obama no more. Uh, he's ruined our country. Uh, he's ruined Christmas. He's let the Muslims in. We can't say that word. We've got to be ashamed of everything. And we're not ashamed people. We're proud people. And we're going to take our country back. So watch out, Obama. We're coming. How has he ruined Christmas? How has he ruined America? He scared the little children. They're not allowed to have Santa Claus in the schools where, you know, it might offend the Muslims. Well, what about uh, them offending us? You know, it works both ways. Political correctness has just gone completely out of control. I mean, it's totally out of control. The smallest minorities in this country are ruling what takes place. And the quiet majority folks like ourselves, and probably you also, are just voiceless. And that has to stop. It and Ted's stop. the man to make it change. Thank you both very much. Some more participants here at this rally. Why did you come out today, and what did you learn from the Ted Cruz remarks? Oh, well, we were really enthused with Ted and, and the things we've seen in the debates. And we, we like what he's saying as far as uh, what he can do for taxes and small businesses and that kind of thing. So that and immigration. So we're really enthused with Ted. Can Ted Cruz win the Virginia primary, and can he win the nomination? Well, we think so. We really do. We helped Dave Bratt. We spent a lot of doors. We knocked on hundreds and hundreds of doors for Dave, and so it's not our real first rodeo. So we're really enthused about Ted, and we think we can help him push him along. What did you learn from that campaign? Congressman Bratt was on our program earlier this week, the Washington Journal. When did you sense that he was going to defeat the House Republican leader, Eric Cantor? Well, at the, at the Republican delegation, when uh, we uh, actually defeated Cantor uh, at, at the, uh, the vote, when we voted to have Dave in lieu of him for the Republican nomination, that's when I, we knew he had it. But when you talk to Dave, you know how sharp he is. So that's a big, big item. And, and it was easy to get a lot of people on board for him. And, and we liked what Dave's position was on immigration as well as uh, smaller government. So that, that Dave's just a sharp economic professor, and we're small business people. We know where that comes from, so the regulations that affect us. Let me move down here because it's now getting into the dinner hour. This is a rally that was supposed to happen mid-morning. You're still here now. Why did you come? Well, I wanted to learn more about Ted. Uh, I kind of was on the fence about uh, who I was going to go for. And uh, probably whoever had an R in front of their name, I probably would go for. But I was thoroughly impressed with Ted. Um, I think, like Paul was saying about Dave Bratt, Dave, they're very similar in their conservative ideas. Uh, I think I'm a businessman. I'm also a director of a small bank. And uh, he didn't mention Dodd-Frank, but that's just got, we're, we're just strangled in regulation. Uh, and it's killing small business. It's hurting the economy. You're probably sitting in one of the most conservative areas of the country, Hanover County. And so... Dave carried Hanover really big time because we are, we had supported Cantor for years, but Eric just got kind of 
uh, kind of uh, out there and wasn't, uh, wasn't joined in with the, what was going on in his own district. And Dave came in and, you know, right up until that night, till finally when on Hannity when he came on there, uh, you know, he kind of, uh, we took it to him. It would have, I think if, some, if the party hadn't have done some other things in some, the rest of the country that there had been more conservatives elected, particularly what happened down in Mississippi. So uh, I think the movement is afoot. Uh, it's, and probably showing with Trump, he's got him, between him and Carson, they got 50, 60, 70 percent of the vote. So there's a movement going on, and people are just sick of Washington D.C. Thank you both for staying with us. I'm going to move over here and talk to some more participants at this rally. Why did you come today? And was there one thing from Senator Cruz's speech that that that, that stands out? I really don't know how to answer that. What did you think about the event itself? Fantastic. Gee, we uh, <clears throat> we just talked. We knew Dave Brat before Dave even wanted to to run, and when he agreed to run, I promised him that I would give him 24/7 for the rest of my life. And Ted Cruz, those two guys are two of a kind. They come along once in a lifetime, and Ted Cruz is a, he's another Dave Brat, and we need them, and I will work till the day I die for both of those guys. It, Thank you both for talking with us. I'm going to move back here with another, are you a Ted Cruz supporter? Yes, I am. Why? Well, every four generations, America goes through a crisis era, and, and here we are again, and, and we, we need and we always have a warrior priest type character, a man of godly character who is also warlike, and we had that with George Washington, we had that uh, four generations later with Abraham Lincoln, we had that four generations later in FDR, and here we are now, we're four generations later, and again, we're in the winter of that repeating cycle, and in order to get to the springtime, we need a priest warrior. And the reason Trump is up there is because he's the warrior, and people are forgetting about the priest. And the reason Ted Cruz is surging is because Ted Cruz has both sides of that equation. Ted Cruz is the warrior priest, but the Christian side has so many choices. You have Dr. Carson, you have Huckabee, you have Centaurum, you have a lot of good, strong Christians, and uh, as more Christians drop out, that Christian conservative constitutional support is going to coalesce around uh, future President Cruz, I hope. But can he thread the coalition to win if he's the nominee and defeat the Democrats to get to 270 electoral votes? This is a Christian nation regardless. It's a 70 percent center-right nation. The Democrats have been outthinking Republicans and conservatives, but Ted Cruz is one of the smartest Republicans we've had in quite a while. He is the complete package. And your name, sir, and where are you from? Craig Johnson from Richmond. Thank you very much. And just one other group over here, some younger voters, potential voters. Why did you come out today? Are you supporting Ted Cruz? Uh, what's your takeaway from his speech? Yes, sir. I am taking away mainly the um, military with the ISIS, and I am a new, I am a new Marine that just got back from boot camp, and I personally am gun ho for everything that he supports, with everything from ISIS to Planned Parenthood abolish to everything that he's supporting. I completely support the man. Good luck to you and the Marines. Let me talk yes, about sir. you. Why did you come here? What's your name? What's your name, by the way? Gabriel Seth Hawkins, sir. And where are you from? I am from Richmond, Virginia, sir. And we'll move down here. Your name, sir, and where are you from? David Sloan. I'm from I'm from Virginia. Uh, I live in Richmond now, but originally from originally from Northern Virginia, but left there for a reason. Because it's a hor it's a, it's a horrible place traffic wise. It's too expensive to live. And what do you think about Ted Cruz? I think Ted Cruz is great. He's the closest thing I, I, I've, se I've seen. To, we've seen to Reagan in a in a long time, and our country needs recovering from from eight years of a failed president. And somebody has to come in and do the cleanup. And Ted Cruz, I believe, is the one who can clean up Obama's mess.
You're smiling over here. What is your name and, and why are you smiling? My name's Christian Denmark, and you know, I completely agree with what he's saying. Uh, you know, I think Obama's failed presidency, and I think we need somebody like Ted Cruz. He's going to stand for what he believes and what, um, you know, against the establishment and, um, you know, believing and standing up for what he thinks. So. Okay, we have two more people who have been very patient. Want to ask, don't shake your head. I want to ask you two. What, what was your takeaway from Senator Cruz's uh, speech today, and why did you come? Oh, What's your name, by the way? My name is Rachel Allgood. Uh, I enjoyed listening to him. We all need a change in Washington, and it seems like he's there to do that. Do you think Ted Cruz can win the nomination? I think so. I think so. We'll have to see in another six months, I guess. Are there other candidates who you like? Well, we, uh, we kind of like Trump also. I think uh, Cruz Trump ticket would be good. Why do you like Donald Trump? Oh, because he stands up and says it like it is, and what most Americans would like to hear and would like to have the courage to say it themselves. <laughs> We're going to give you the last word. What is your name and why are you here today? Uh, my name is Larney Allgood, and uh, I'm the vice president of the Mechanicsville Tea Party. And uh, I like Mr. Cruz, fine, he gave an excellent speech, and I think he would make a terrific vice president for Donald Trump. And uh, <laughs> Trump is the leader. He is leading the, he is running the whole uh, vocabulary, he is just running the whole show as far as the nomination process is concerned. Everybody else is more or less just following along behind him, and the ones that argue against him just fall by the wayside. They no longer exist. I see Mr. Trump is at about 46 percent of the, uh, and uh, Mr. Cruz is at about 15 to 16 percent. As fine an outstanding man as Mr. Cruz really is, Mr. Trump is just out there and he's doing it. He's leading the show. He's running the whole nominating process. And uh, uh, I think he and Ted Cruz would be an excellent uh, team. President l l let me just ask you one final question, because a lot of people have criticized the tone of this campaign from Donald Trump. You're shaking your head why? I think they criticize that the whole thing is too politically correct. You can't say anything. You can't call an illegal alien an illegal alien. You have to say illegal immigrant. They're not illegal immigrants. They are illegal aliens. You're either in the country legally are you an illegal alien? There is no other category. And uh, so I support Mr. Trump for getting out there, telling it like it is. He will build a wall. I believe everything he says, and I think he will make a conscientious effort to do everything he says he's going to do. And, uh, uh, and we, I'm going to, as long as his name is on the ballot, I'm going to vote for him. Well, we just have to see what the numbers show, it's, you know, and who wins. Thank you both very much. We appreciate it.